we are to find the volume of this cone relative to the angle theta. So in other words, we're to find a function for the volume where theta is the independent variable. Theta then is this angle inside this circular piece of paper that's had this sector cut out. Now if we think about this, if we take this thing and, and join this point to this point, then what will happen is we'll wind up with this cone and this six centimeter radius would become this edge of the cone. The circular top of the cone would then be this arc that's left when we cut the piece out. So we're going to need some things. One of the things that we'll need is the formula for the volume of a right circular cone. That is one-third pi r squared h. So we have our radius and our height, but this thing is supposed to be expressed in terms of the angle theta. So let's see if we can express r and h in terms of theta. One of the things that we just talked about is that the circumference of this face will be this arc length. Now what we know about arc length is its formula is s equal to r theta, where theta is expressed in radians. So that arc length then will be the circumference of the face of the cone, and it will be 6 theta. The other thing that we know about that is that it is a circle, and the circle has a formula of c equal to 2 pi r for its circumference. So what we'll do is set these two things equal to each other, 6 theta equal to 2 pi r. Remember that the goal here is initially to express r in terms of theta. Well, we can do that by dividing both sides by 2 pi. And what we're going to find then is that the radius of the circular base of this cone can be expressed as 3 theta over pi when we simplify. So now we have r expressed in terms of theta. Now we need h expressed in terms of theta. One thing that we can see on this cone is that we have a right triangle formed. And the thing that we know about right triangles is the Pythagorean theorem. So we could write h squared plus r squared equal to 6 squared. We already know how to express r in terms of theta, so we'll write h squared plus 3 theta over pi squared equal to 36. Now we'll solve for h. So we'll subtract 3 theta over pi squared from both sides and we'll have h squared equal to 36 minus 3 theta over pi squared. We can square root both sides to get h by itself and then do a little bit of simplifying here. And we'll have h equal to the square root of 36 minus 3 squared theta squared over pi squared when we square each of the items in the parentheses. We could simplify this a bit further by getting a common denominator for these two terms of pi squared. So we'll take 36 and multiply the top and bottom by pi squared. So we'll have the square root of 36 pi squared over pi squared minus squaring the 3, we have 9, and then theta squared over pi squared. Now we have a common denominator, and we can combine these two terms. So we have h equals the square root of 36 pi squared 
minus 9 theta squared over pi squared. Now one thing that we might realize is that we could factor a 9 out of both of those terms. So we'd have h equals the square root of 9 times 4 pi squared minus theta squared over pi squared. And so the reason that we did all this manipulating was so that we could take the 9 and the pi out of the radical. So we have h equals 3 over pi times the square root of 4 pi squared minus theta squared. Now we have r expressed in terms of theta and we have h expressed in terms of theta. So we could substitute both of these expressions into our formula for the volume. So we would have the volume equal to one-third pi times r squared. Well, r is 3 theta over pi. So 3 theta over pi, and that quantity will be squared, times h. h is 3 over pi times the square root of 4 pi squared minus theta squared. Now we have a whole bunch of stuff that will cancel. This pi and this pi will cancel, and this 3 and this 3 will cancel. So what we would have then is the volume expressed in terms of the angle theta as, and we can go ahead and square everything in here, we'll have 9 theta squared over pi squared times the square root of 4 pi squared minus theta squared.